What's going on BR fans? Today we'll be checking out how to use gesture control for BMW iDrive 7. If this is your first time on Beam Review, what we do here is showcase the latest BMWs that just hit the market and as of this video we're going to be starting to do a lot more features reviews and a lot more features tutorials. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button that's on the bottom of the video and let's get right into it. Alright, so if you're completely new to what gesture control is, it's basically a feature that BMW has for a lot of their newer cars. And you can literally just use your finger to do some really cool things with the vehicle, such as turn up the volume, turn down the volume, and you can skip tracks, you can reverse tracks, and you can even pick up phone calls, and you can even pause tracks. So what we're going to do in this video is just go through the different commands that gesture control can do. And again, this is for iDrive 7, which is going to be the latest... OS system that BMW makes and it works really well too so let's get right into it also one quick little plug I did forget to put lotion on my hands today so make sure you guys don't make the same mistake either check out the link that's on the bottom of this video for some Aveeno lotion it's my favorite lotion and without further ado let's go so first and foremost let's go ahead and go into the radio and or wherever you want to go to play some music or wherever. I'm personally going to go into AM right now so we don't get flagged for any music that might be playing. So here comes command number one. We're going to be controlling the volume. And I'm going to wave my finger in this direction, which is clockwise. And that's going to turn up the volume. You can see the meter on the screen going up. This is turning down the volume. You can see the meter going down. You can do that for any kind of music that's playing. And again, I'll do it one more time up down just like that that right there is actually a pause a two finger point that will actually pause and unpause a track or whatever is playing on the radio our next gesture that we have is going to be the use of our thumb and what we're going to do is basically point away just like that so that will actually skip tracks so again this is how we're skipping tracks or the radio using the thumb pointing in the other direction just like that that will actually rewind a track or, or repeat a track. For the next one that we're going to do, it's going to be used to pick up a phone call, just like that, pointing at the screen directly. Whenever you're getting a phone call, just point at the screen, and this command will pick up a phone call. If you want to reject it, wave your hand away, just like that. Just like that. That will reject a phone call, or decline, I should say. Again, this is the volume up. That's how you turn up the volume. This is how you do volume down. This is how we pause tracks. This is a pause again, pausing tracks. Next one, we're going to skip tracks, pointing the thumb away, and rewind tracks, point, point the thumb towards you. This, pick up a phone call. This is to reject a phone call. Now let's go a little bit more in depth. That's basically the basics for gesture control, probably the ones that you'll use every single day. Um, the next thing that we're going to look at is a button right down here, and I'm going to fix my camera so I, just, so I, so I can show it to you, but <clears throat> a lot of the cars come with a 3D view. If your vehicle BMW has a 3D view that looks like this, where you can see around the whole car, there's a cool little small gesture that we can do in here. If you hit this hidden tab, you can see the 3D view, that's the second menu, select that, and then you can see a full 3D view of your car. Now, there is one gesture that we can do. It kind of re it kind of resembles holding a teacup. And if you pinch and zoom, sorry, if you pinch and move your hand around, you can adjust the view. You can see me doing it there. And then if you want to go around the whole car, just pinch and release, pinch and release. And this will help you go around the whole car. It's pretty cool. And that's me just trying, trying to be funny, trying to see how fast I, the thing can keep up with my hand, but we just saw the limit. And if you want to know where the sensor is for gesture control, it's actually right up here. You can see this little plastic piece. It's a black plastic piece, and then the radar system shoots down just like that. It's almost like a big wave that comes down. And then keeps track of your hand, and that's basically what gesture control is. Now, if you guys are more into customizing your gestures, you can you can actually do that so if we go into car settings right here and if we hit settings one more time we can go into general settings which is on the far left side oops excuse me 
general settings, far left side, right there. And then if we scroll down to where it says gesture control, right there, select that. Um, if you don't like gesture control, you can turn off the feature by hitting the first checkbox up there. So that's only if you don't like it, you can turn off the feature. And right there, we actually went into the first customization one. So the command that you see on the right there, the two finger point, you can customize that gesture to whatever you want. Okay, maybe not, not maybe not whatever you want, but whatever you see here in the menu, you can change the command on what that gesture does. This gesture right here, which is a opening and closing of the hand, that's also another gesture too that you can also customize. By default, it's set up to navigate you to home, and but you can completely customize that from the options that we saw within the menu there before. Again, I'll show you guys how to go back in there one more time. We're going to hit car. We can go into settings right there. And then we can go to general settings and gesture control. I'm not sure why I didn't see it. There it is, gesture control. Again, this menu, you can customize your gestures, not all of them, but you have two different gestures that you can customize to different functions within the vehicle. It's really, really cool, and I recommend that you guys should try it. Gest gesture control comes in a lot of the newer vehicles. Uh, I've seen a ton of them in the X5s and X7s and 5 Series. It's going to be a pretty good feature going in, into the future. If you guys haven't used it before, I would highly recommend trying it out whenever you go to your next BMW visit. And I hope this video helped. If you guys want more videos like this, or if you guys think that I should make any more changes, uh, feel free to let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.